two oh. bucks. <laughs> We live, everybody. Welcome to another episode of After Class. We got the OG queens up in the building. We got Jazz up in the building. Say what's up. up. We got Ali up in the building. Say what's up. up. We got Sis up in the building. Say what's up. up. Ay, ay. We got Whammy up in the building. Say, Say what's, what's up. up. What it do? <laughs> Um, today is what day? Today is Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday, and I was literally, so Sammy and I worked out, obviously, because that's where we work out, and I was literally talking about how I feel like my body is not normal, because I haven't gotten my period in so yeah. long, y'all. Yeah. I've always been an irregular bitch, and that's one of the reasons why I stopped birth control, and right. I've been off of birth control for maybe almost a year now. Is my level is my level okay, Rashad? That's what you're checking. And I'm like, I always get like slight worried because mm -hmm. after I got off birth control, I only got my period only once. Whoa, mm. that's only crazy. once. Like, that's aren't wild. we all supposed to get our period like every month? Every month, <laughs> like once a month, whole year. Every month, like a month. Yo, I feel like I have waited for so long, and I'm like, but isn't that I got off birth control to make me regular? Right. It just needed mm -hmm. a minute. Because usually it's the other way. Not an, you said what? Year. I was saying it just needed a minute to to figure it out. You yeah. are for Bitch, so fucking long. Yeah, yeah. It just I needed a minute. You on birth it was control. confused. That's what I Ten told plus her. Oh, oh, see. That's yes. what I told her. I'm like, a year is nothing for it to go oh, back to normal. Yeah, ten plus years. That's oh, so long that's, for your body to have yeah. not had that, and it's confused. Give it ten know plus years. But I'm sorry. When you were on birth control, were you not having your period? Yeah. You I was on a birth control that made me not get my period. So your body was shit? really What's fucking confused. <laughs> what does she call? What's your body was called? so stressed out. I don't out. know, but it was that. when I obviously I started my no. birth control when I was in high school, and yeah, you know I the scare too. was you'll either get pregnant yep. or you'll start to spot, and somebody will see it. You, you see got a red spot on your motherfucking seat and bitch. shit. Yeah. yeah. So I told Damn. my people to not give me my period, and now I fucking hate it because now Did that scare I'm you? a bit yes. That terrifies me. I will not be on birth period. I cannot take something that. That stopped something that my body was supposed to do. Okay, but I oh, didn't you don't understand that. I didn't no. understand that at fucking fourteen I'll years old. It. I won't risk Fuck it all. I will risk, risk it, to it get for the biscuit, biscuit. Baby, because I like if I have to. Mm, yeah, that's okay though. So at least it came back. Yeah. So okay. it came back today. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Where body ears are regular. Okay. Period. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but still, I'm like, dang. Like I. I literally admire, are you guys the people who are literally, who look look at their calendar and no. is like, okay, on this day, I'm going to get my period. No. I no, wake I up just to feel it, that bitch, shit. Like, oh. Yeah, I'm like, oh, bitch. Oh, <laughs> birth control. Yeah, oh. I'm like, oh. Red I got to go to the bathroom. No. Teacher. Teacher. No, nah, because see, birth control, it was what kept me regular. Birth yeah, control same. Was what kept me regular because I would know. I'd be like, okay, this month. I mean, yeah, this that's what the fuck is supposed to be. Yeah, but see, I wanted the birth control where I didn't get my period. I wanted what the fuck you had. That's no, what I, I that's got. That's what I wanted. But I, got, I had the. Yeah. Yep, exactly. I got yours. So I got off of it like a year ago. And For real? now my shit is like. Now, I, love it I don't know when the fuck it comes same. on. I get it every month. But I don't ever know when it comes on. It comes on just random time. I have like, moved a week up every, the past three months, I have moved a week up. Yeah. Every like, time. Right. And I thought I had the alpha coochie and all my friends sunk up to me. But my she shit is alpha. so. Like, you know when <laughs> you said alpha coochie. You know, we, me and Taylor were just talking yeah, about that. We when were. you sync up with your friends, you all up, of yeah. my friends have always That's matched you to me. my cycle. Uh, you and me are like. It's always matched to my shit. No matter yeah. if mine changed, yeah, my friends like, fuck you, Jazz. Like, my shit changed because of you. And now lately, mine has just been, maybe I'll come later. I'll come tomorrow. Maybe another time. Maybe, yeah, maybe another know. time. I feel like coming early. How does that work for you? <laughs> like, it doesn't. <laughs> How does that work for you? How does that work for it you? It doesn't, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Stay where the fuck you was at. I planned around the around last the time. Last, okay. And now your ass is here. Yeah. Trying to get some dick. <laughs> you see, I don't, I I don't wake up to it. I feel oh, it coming. Nope. Like, I get the cramps right before, and I'm like, I'm getting that bitch no. right now. I yeah. get cramps mm. after it starts. She'll be like, I'm here. Uh, now we're going to hurt. I get the Shit. Before. Now we're going to fuck you now, up. Yeah. I'll be like, uh huh. I gotta go home. <laughs> Party over. <laughs> Wait, question because oh, it just shit. it just came up. Do you guys have sex while on your period? Yep. 
Uh, de- yep. it depends. It depends. It depends because my period takes me yes. out. Like my period takes me out down for the count. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like day two. I just feel like I'm being stabbed. Like yeah. Literally. You know, like, I feel like day three. Don't yeah. Don't, don't catch me on day one or two. Dirty ass. I'm done. I'm on day. No. Don't catch me on day one or two. It's like a day three situation. That's yeah. a when crime. It's, when it's going off. Day That's one, bitch. Day that one. That should be illegal. Don't even touch I, me. I gotta sue you. That's disgusting. On day one. Yeah. Bitch, the that worst flow day. is <laughs> vicious, honey. This is the yeah. worst day. The flow, the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I don't even look at him because I already know when I say some reckless shit, it's oh thigh balls. When you said that flow is that flow vicious, is honey. Vicious, you are- honey. <laughs> <laughs> Rashad, come on. It is human anatomy. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, do that. don't be like that. It's uh, regular. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. I heard but that it actually feels better yeah, while you're on your period. It does. Ooh. Cute it's little shower. I don't know if I can get with it. What? You just got to go to the though. shower. I like the shower, so oh. you don't got to clean up a mess. I like it as a bed. It's just the water flow stops it. Huh? I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, right. Like feel it. Nice. <laughs> Your body is so much more stimulated. Mm. Everything is so sensitive, yeah, right. and I want to still feel it. Not in the shower, bitch. I don't have time to. Oh, I don't even God. like shower sex right. when I'm not on my period. Really? I'm like, can we stop? This Wait, is what? So Hold on. Nah, you don't even have to do all that. All you have to do is I don't even like all Bear that. Because then he'd be going so hard, I'm fucking around slid. <laughs> she said, <laughs> Get yourself a cute slid. little grip. Right, like I a little grip. Yeah, you have nothing to hold on to. You start to relax because it feels good, bitch. Oh, shit. It's a no for me, nah, is what I'm can't. trying to tell you, bitches. It's, I'll put a little towel down. Well, I feel mm-hmm. like whenever you have sex on your period, to me, the blood like it it stops. Like right. it doesn't it doesn't come out. Heavy. Come on, little plug. Yeah, it doesn't come out heavy. True. Now when you're done, that shit you come goes. Out don't even look, baby. Like, don't look. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't yeah. look at it. Just wipe <laughs> it off. Look, yeah, it's that ooh. shit. Go. Make sure to wash your coochie uh, after <laughs> every <laughs> motherfucking time. Yeah. Yes. Um. But all that to say, all that to say is I'm very happy that my period came. Yeah. But bitch, these oof. Yes. Like cramps. right after our workout. Oh my god, girl. Yeah. And um. Like high school cramp. When I was when I was in high school, anytime I got my period, I was like, "Why are these girls so fucking dramatic with their cramps?" And oh, I can't. Me. Like and now look they at would you. have to. They would literally have to go back home. Like yes. they couldn't even stay in school and shit. I had to go to like urgent Correct. care. Like, oh no, I've like I've literally passed out. Face before. red, throwing up, back cramps. Yep, throwing up. I've Day passed, one. That's, don't talk to me. That's why I had to get on birth control, which I'm I'm, I'm gonna get back. On. It was that I'm gonna get bad. Back on because it's my bad. It's bad. My now. friend was just like that. My best friend, she was like. I'm not going to school for four days. And I'm like, why do you miss school? Because I was like, Lee, I was like, wow, I, I don't even feel what you feel because I just right. had it. I'm and like, mm-hmm. yeah. But she's like, it takes me out. I miss school every time I get it. I was like, damn. Mine the full takes me period, out. though? Full period. Mine's only the first day. Mine is the, mine is the first and <laughs> second day. Mine is first and second. Like, like, yeah, like this. First, first and second day. But no, mm. I mean, I'm talking like, and it still takes me out. I need to go get on birth control like right now because it, it's really bad. Like I can't function. I literally cannot. It's so it hurts. And second day, like I'm talking, I'll I'll like be throwing up because the mm. pain is so bad. Wait, mm-hmm. I'll right. be the first I've... to say it, bitch. Period diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I already knew. That's why I turned my back to you because I re-angled myself. So I didn't even want to feel the judgment because you will never understand, baby. <laughs> I wish I could Look, literally. Like, this is not for you to understand, Rashad, because that shit right there is a different type of <laughs> bitch. Stress. He should be, because I be stressed out too. You can feel yeah, a little bit of this pain, and maybe. that is something that he will never, never feel. understand. Yeah. He put the mask back on. It's okay. You, you don't even gotta be in here, Rashad. It is okay. Hey. No, I will. No, but yeah, but that, that's the only out. reason why I felt better is because all I need to yeah. do is poop. Well, that's okay. it. No, that shit. That shit literally. It, it relieves feeling... so much pressure. I'm yeah. like, oh shit, so it was a cramp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> not what it, that's not what it was. Yeah, just, it I was poopy. Yeah. Right. We got all that shit dunked up in there, girl. Okay. We got like a detox. Now yeah. that diarrhea, though. It's oof. different. It's different. Now that, I don't know if I have ever experienced It be coming out fast. It's explosive. Okay. It's rapid. It's very fast. It happens quick. It's I vicious, it honey. <laughs> it's vicious. <laughs> Day one is really... It is vicious, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. That's fine. Shit. You know where to find me at. Yeah. Right. Because oh. Rashad, your wifey going to be like, when we talk about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't Finally. no wifey. Right. Ain't no wifey. Remember we talked about it last Oh, yeah. Week? I'm sorry. Oh, you're, yeah. A woman. you're a woman. You're a woman. You're a woman. Somebody. Um, 
something. Somebody going to have to deal with it. Oh, God. So before we get off the subject, what is you guys' natural remedies? Or what do you guys do when you guys are on your... You guys just stay home, don't do nothing? No. Uh, tea. I drink tea. Um, tea is like my... That's like my, my go-to. Tea and a heating pad. I have to have that. Tell me why I have a heating pad day. in my car because I was literally about to... Yep. Ooh, plug it I was about to plug, plug it, it in. Up. Yep. Bam. Right exactly. there. Exactly. I carry it but with me. Fine. Like, mm -hmm. Tea and a heating pad. That's my, mm. my go-to. What do you do, Wham? You said a banana. Uh, banana, bitch. I do banana. I exercise because sweating is good for the mm -hmm. fucking cramps. If I think laying down, I, even though I want to and it's so fucking hard to get up that day like today... Uh, after the workout, you feel so much better because I have so <laughs> motherfuck, so much motherfucking cramps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what else? Banana Working cramps. Out makes my cramps. Worse. Oh, dark chocolate. I was eating that too. Yeah, mm. chocolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jazz, what do you do to drugs. remedy your? Uh, you said drugs. Drugs. I'm listening to all these natural. Things. Oh yeah, I drugs take drugs. I don't. I, you I said take, Tylenol. Yeah, like I take like uh, I will not no, take taking, like, any stuff. type of medic. My little knee medication I take. Mm. Oh, I had that. But I do not put any type of, like, medicine supplements in my body unless it's day one of my period. That's the only time. Yeah. I don't take cold medicine. I don't take flu. You did Tremadol then? That shit knocked me out. Whatever they gave me for my knee. They gave me two of those, what, bitch. What, what are you talking about? What do you mean your knee? When they I, give you. When I tore oh. my meniscus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they give you strong pain medicine. Did they give you and? two? That's what you like take? two types, cause that what they did. There's one that takes the oxycontin. Oxycontin, mm -hmm. bitch. I my mom was like, girl, you were yelling on the sofa, having like flashbacks and shit. And I was no, like, yeah. mom, hallucinations, hallucinations. I and I said, mom, I'm that. never taking this again. I took half of that shit. I was mm -hmm. like, maybe my body's too little. Let me just take half of it. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I went on the same trip. Yeah. No. So I was like, look, give me the fucking terminal. Let me knock you? the fuck out. I, I don't know. Oxys. Oh, they get, I don't know what they get, Oxys but are, I just take a little, little pill. And what'd you feel? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Yeah, that's like I Percocet. go to sleep. Percocets are, are then I don't do it, like, super, super often, but and if I have to, like, take something, then I'll do, like, a Midol, and I, like, drug myself the fuck up for mm -hmm. day one. But then after that, I don't need anything for day two or nothing, okay. so it's just that one day. Mm. So then I can suck it out for that's the me. most part. How, yeah. I have one in the daytime that I can take that's take, like, every couple hours, and they gave me that, the big bitch. Mm. You're supposed to take one every, like, 12 hours mm -hmm. oh. just give me that one yeah i have to take pain medicine on the first day like it kills I me try not to. i try not to look I, at I try not to i've tried to look at like the like z was trying to give me like oh you should no ain't no, no herbs bitch, bitch. Don't give me the work. drugs yeah no damn y'all oh that shit don't work. oh that just brought I want, back i need Tylenol. my mom overdosed me by mistake <laughs> oh. by mistake oh, yeah. it was in high school word no 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 it was a an accident it was in high school i got like gave you too much yeah i was cramping up really bad and i was like mama i don't think i'm gonna make it she's like you won't take this little <laughs> pill and you gonna go to fucking school and it was pampering max this bitch right? Sammy was dead at school bitch. right my, and look the, at her I'm, little body no 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 i let me tell you i was like ma'am can i go to the bathroom i went to the bathroom and the security guard i'm cool with him he goes sam you look pale as fuck like oh. you're gonna fall and i was like i gotta go home i gotta, I gotta go <laughs> and then i'm like mom what did you I give think me? you gave me too much. Why? What did you feel? <laughs> I was going to pass out. Pass out. Um, I was going to pass out. I was white, like white, white, like pale white that's, bitch. That's happened to me before. That's scary. Yeah. I was like, damn, this I've, is never happening that's again. That's happened to me. I've taken perks thinking they were Tylenol. And I realized, and I know how Percocet, I know how Percocet feels. Mm, I realized right away. <laughs> I realized, I realized right away that I took the wrong medication. And my mom was taking me to the airport. Oh my god! Oh, my mom was taking me to the, the airport. This not was, on the plane. This was this was not that long ago. Fucking this panic was like, attack. This was like a I would year start ago. Crying. Yeah, she was taking me to the airport, and I remember I was in the car, and I was like, I feel really. Crazy, like weird right now. Like I, I couldn't explain it. I was like, I just feel really weird. I feel nauseous, but then also kind of like I'm gonna pass out, but then also spacey, like high. Like oh. I felt crazy. Mm. And she was like, Well, like what did you take? And I was like, Well, I just took two Tylenol. Mm -hmm. Went to look in my bag because I started, I started being like, Well, did you take? I started like second guessing myself. I'm like, Bitch, you know better. Like you wouldn't fucking take Percocets. You took Percocets. Three. <gasps> oh. Three Percocets. How I was did you not hanging, die? I was hanging out the window. It was like six <laughs> o'clock in the morning and on the way to the airport. I was literally hanging out the window. And like I was trying to drink water. My mom was so fucking worried about me. So but, why I, do but why do people, what does Percocets make you do? Um, It just makes you feel high. Like. Numb? Uh, I mean, it definitely numbs the pain for sure. Okay. But if you take too much, like if you take one, it feels mm -hmm. great. But if you take too much, like that shit can literally 
it makes you nauseous, makes you so sick, makes you feel like you're going to pass out. Like, but mm-hmm. I can't explain it. Like, it. I can't even I'm explain good. it. It makes I you feel, good. it makes Give you me all these cramps. Shit. Like, it makes you feel like spacey. Like, I remember in the car, like, I felt like I was like, Float like flying. Float. Yeah, like oh, we were nah. in the car, and I was How'd like, "How'd you get on the fucking plane, bitch?" I right. had a panic attack. I made, right. my, I made yes. myself like, grow, grow up. up, and you I was high too. Oh, yeah, man. I was on the plane already. already. Oh yeah, no, I knew it. No, I knew. <laughs> I knew. I had like three hours before I took off, though, so I, I had time oh, to get my life together. But shit. yeah, I just made myself throw up. But what, if you take one Percocet, like it, it's nothing. But you cannot, you can't take more than that. Like. In my small body, oh my god! I wonder, I wonder Ugh. why. Like, if we go in deeper, like I just would rather, honestly, this whole experience for me, <clears throat> I would rather feel all of this cramp pain. I would rather feel all of it than like not be able to get my period ever again and not be able right. to produce absolutely. children. No, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a nat- it's just a natural, natural. thing. It's you just have to go process. through it. Yeah, yeah. And what you and what you <clears throat> said, Jazz, like ten minutes ago, I, I obviously we weren't thinking of that. We weren't thinking of the natural no. reasoning mm-hmm. of having all of this shit when we were like 14, yeah, we're like, 15. Yeah, we're like, we're still gonna have our period. Right, yeah. yeah. but now I'm like, you know, I'm coming to a point, you know, where I'm like almost ready yeah. to start right. thinking about it and, you know, allowing my body to do what it do. Yeah. Ziggy, ziggy, well, well, now you know you're fertile. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know, now you're you know that you're fertile. But, bitch, but I'm not getting this shit every month. But maybe this is the start Wait of it. on it. Wait yeah. On. yeah, you don't know this yet. Is, this is like your first one mm-hmm. one. No, no, this is the second one, one, one since I've been off of my birth control. Okay, so oh, we're so getting fertile. Good. We're getting fertility. We're getting there. Thing. That's a good thing. That's good. So I'm like, yes! My yeah. Body yes and no. Yeah. I was thank, literally about to go to my vagina for, doctor. We've been ta- yes. Yeah, we've been talking about that for a minute. Say thank you, Miss Kitty. Right. right yeah. I was literally about to go to the vagina doctor like, beach, what the fuck what have you been getting on? I need right. to go. Yeah, yeah check too. your vaginas, y'all. I need to go too. Check your went. vaginas, cause it's once one gets time for y'all to, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. To have kids, you just want to make it to sure. Be seen just in general. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Yeah. Sure yeah. I am. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. Just in general. Have you guys? Right. Uh, I can't believe we're talking about this, the and then I'm gonna introduce another subject. But okay. have you guys ever gotten that that um that steamer where it steams your mm-hmm. whole vagina to no. clean? Yeah. I'm like sorry, we need to do that. It's called like the cone. I'm sorry. Where? What? I don't know, but it's, it's yeah, but it's, it's like you sit you. on that some type like of toilet and it has herbs, herbs. like and it has herbs it. and it's mm-hmm. literally steaming your it's vagina, so cleansing. It's Where? setting. I think it, it sets your pH <gasps> yeah, levels. Your balance, yeah. I need. I want. That. I want it's some so of that it's shit. so good for you. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Okay. Where? You just, Big ass. You can like order. You can just order the the herbs. You can order it, or I think they have different salons. We should look up different salons. Steamer salon. No, it's good. It's Let called, me look it up. I thought Watch. it's called oh like the Coney, no, like something. Yoni, Yoni, Yoni. yeah, Yoni, and then Yoni, Yoni, Yoni the cleanse. Vajacial. Yoni cleanse. Yeah. Do they do vajacials? Y- vajacials. I, honestly, I think they may. There's like a these really pretty, strip. like no, there's like y- Yoni steam near me. Emerald Muse Holistic Body Work and V steam. Shout out to y'all. The V Spa. Right. Mm. Shout out to y'all. Right. Okay. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Promo up in this bitch. Okay, bitch. We need to go. Cute. We need to go check this out. If you guys have ever anybody who's listening, if you guys have ever done that, please yep. comment under that sounds like it in the description incredible. and let us know what you guys think yep. about that because I definitely think that you guys should be taking care oh, yeah, of coaching. your vaginas, big kids. You letting people all up in there, yeah. <laughs> especially those up ones. Up okay. <laughs> um, pause anyway. this because we're about to get deep. Uh, so I I was with my high school friends um <clears throat> two or three days ago and I haven't seen one of them in a long time but she needed to like she just needed some she needed friends and at this point and I don't really see her that much so but the friend that I was with she sees her more often so she was like can I come join you because I literally need something to take me off just off of this subject so apparently i think um her grandfather is dying at this point from cancer okay and i think this is her first time um dealing with somebody passing away that's you know immediate and really close to them exactly (laughs) so um i went through that so you know like we are talking and she really had these questions like what the fuck do i do what do i do when i see him what do i do when he actually goes like am i gonna ever see him again am i gonna feel him again am i like and i literally was just like sitting there like god or not goddamn but damn yeah, yeah. like mm-hmm. and i'm just like wow uh, the de- death like death Mm-hmm. is something that I feel like everybody is so scared to experience and and is so scared for their the people around them to mm-hmm. like go through and mm-hmm. to experience or whatever. Therefore, you experience it. 
But then if you have a different perspective and you just have a different like perception of death, I feel like maybe maybe we can kind of just change the stereotype and it's something that we can actually welcome celebrate and celebrate. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's hard. How do we feel about that? How, how, how are you scared? Are you guys scared of dying or have you guys ever had somebody close to you? Yeah. My um, grandfather passed from transition mm-hmm. oh. and dealing with that process. <clears throat> it was different for me. Um, I wouldn't say I'm not close with him, but I was closer to my mom's side of the family, whereas my little brother was closer to him. So when I found out that he had cancer we found out really late so he was already like stage three Mm -hmm. almost stage four pancreatic cancer and of course he's older so getting the surgeries and all that was kind of just out of the question because his body wouldn't have been able to handle all of that so he did chemo and I was still living out here so my parents like you need to come back home and try to you know see him and when I saw him it was the different. image of them like you know right, seeing them sick, right he just looked so frail and i was used to him seeing like up and getting a drink mm-hmm. and joking and doing things and i just like had a flash of like my whole childhood and then feeling for me for me personally like feeling regret like i didn't do enough like i didn't ask enough questions i don't know enough stories and then seeing how it affected everyone else and how it didn't affect me in the same way also made me feel different so i was like fuck like why why was it different Be- um like, did you not feel as much or were you not? I saw like, how much it fucked everybody up. And granted, right. I was the one that moved away. But like I said, I wasn't. He had been in my life my whole life. So I'm not saying we weren't close and we didn't have a relationship. But in terms of just like, you know, sometimes you're just closer to one side of the yeah, family yeah, more absolutely. than others. Mm-hmm. So that's how it was for me. Mm-hmm. I am closer to my mom's side. So then when I see everyone just like torn and bent out of shape, mm-hmm. I'm like, should I have been closer? Like, mm, like y'all what are, did I miss? Y'all yeah. are right. fucked y'all are up fucked right up. now and I'm sitting here. Bitch. I know, it's it's hard. Yeah. Like it, I'm holding back my tears too because it's fucked up. Yeah. It's hard because then when I was stuck in the room with him, Sammy about to make me fucking cry. When I was in the room with him, they left me alone with him and I, y'all know I don't have a filter, but it was just a genuine question. I wanted to check in on him. I'm like, how do you feel? Like, and I didn't find my words, right? So mm-hmm. I couldn't find my words. I was like, how do you feel? Like, you're about to die. Yeah, right. And he, like, he lost it. And I was like, fuck, like, I just want to know, like, are you okay? I'm checking mm-hmm. in. Like, how do you feel? Because no one else in the family is going to check in on you like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know that these are your last days. So what is your mindset? So then I know how to process it as well. Because if you're okay, then I'll be okay. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you're terrified, then, then I don't I'm know how to be, comfort how am you. I yeah. Feel? yeah. Right. Like, what do I say to that? You don't know what's happening. And he was like, I've been to war. I fought in Vietnam. I did all these things. And he's like, my only regret is that I'm going out like this. Like, yeah. I survived the craziest yeah. thing. And I'm going and out to go because out like I'm that. sick. Yeah. You know? And I was like, fuck. Mm-hmm. So I think now, as time goes on, like, I just try to remember him with certain things. Like... Remember him in a positive way. Yeah, in a positive way and Mm -hmm. and as best as I can and checking on family. That was like a really, really hard time, of course. Like my dad was fucked up. His Mm -hmm. dad passed and then his aunt passed and his uncle passed all three days back to back. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, what the fuck do you even do? Yeah. So, I mean, it was just, it's hard. I actually haven't even been back to the house since then. And even the way he passed was fucked up for everybody. Like they were just in the house talking to him and he stopped responding. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, and my then gosh. they were just sitting there and they called me. I was in Vegas, fucked up, drunk, like, hey, bitch. And my oh, mom's God. like, your grandpa died. And I was like, mm. Mm. Oh, God. like, OK, fuck. How, how long ago was that from that from your last conversation to when he finally transitioned? Bitch, like two weeks, mm. like two weeks, like if that. And I just I remember seeing his whole demeanor change from us sitting there. And he would try to stay positive, like, how are you? How are you? I'm like, I'm good. We would try to get him to eat. He just had no desire. And then once I asked him that question, like, it's almost like I saw him. So he lost it and he started crying? Yeah. It's like I saw him think of his entire life for him to process that answer. And he was just like... Yeah, because that's a crazy question yeah. to be asked. <sighs> because no one asked that. No one asked that. No one, no one asked, asked somebody, how you're... Like, you know you're about to Right, you it's like, don't die. die. Don't die, die yeah. for me because I'm going to miss you. Yeah, I, no one asked... It's like for their... How are you feeling? Right, for yeah, yeah. Right. and it's... People right. wanted to teeter it, and I know people try to, like, 
uplift them like no you're gonna be okay you're gonna fight you're gonna fight but at the end of the day like but she's like no you're not like like, to keep it so real real. like no bitch i am dying yeah that like it sounds blunt it sounds harsh but that is but that's just the reality reality and i know nobody was saying that to him everyone's like no you're gonna be fine like we're praying for you like god's got you but this is also god's plan too like this this did happen to you Mm -hmm. or it happened for you for your experience for your life and this was the way that it was planned for you and i know you're trying to come to terms with it so do you want to talk about it Right. I like to talk about things and I would yeah. hate if I know good and well my ass is about to go at any second y'all like you're, you're fine, fighting bitch. for it. I'm gonna be like no I'm you know, not like, I'm dying about even next when week. you're sad yeah. and people are like no like you're gonna be okay we're not talking about that mm-hmm. we're, talking we're talking about, about right, right, now. right now that's so interesting right. yeah. that's so yeah. interesting to hear it was yeah yeah it was for me process. for me the last time I lost somebody was my my grandmother my mom's mm-hmm. mom and mm-hmm. that one really tore me up because I was really really close to her but it's almost like answer me this would you rather have somebody die unexpectedly they're already gone or would you rather have somebody like Jasmine's grandfather that's and, what I was about and to it's speak like on. you're and it's like they're dying slowly oh mm-hmm. no that's, you know what, what, I, I mean? that's that what I was about to speak on that hurt. But at least you had, at least you had like that chance, that moment to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. I, I literally, the last time I saw my grandmother was right before I went to Greece. Yep. And like, we weren't thinking anything of it. And the next thing you know, like that next week she died in her sleep. Yep. Actually, I think I would prefer it this way because not to, it's hard because shortly after my dad's cousin passed away, like in in this COVID area Mm -hmm. and she didn't tell anybody that she had cancer because she had just lost her mom and dad and mm-hmm. then my grandfather. So she was like, I'm not going to put the family through it. But what made it worse that it was so sudden is because y- now you were suffering on your own. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. granted, yes, other people were going through that too, but we could have also supported you. And so mm-hmm. for her to just pass, I'm not going to use the word selfish because her I know her intentions were pure, but mm-hmm. it's like, damn, you kind of robbed us of that last yeah. goodbye when it right. was intentional. Right. right. When it was and it's not to blame or fault, because that's a very fucked up thing to say because I know she was trying to do it for us. But yeah. I it's feel hard. like there's either way. There's levels to it for me. Like I've never lost I've lost family members, like cousins and stuff, but the closest the closest people that I've lost is a, a like a best friend who was like a brother and my ex my ex-boyfriend mm. both sudden both both sudden deaths and um the selfish part of me is like when I think about my my you know I kind of think about like my grandparents passing away a lot I don't know why it just kind of crosses my mind especially with me being like away like I, I just have Ugh. this fear of like waking up to a phone call one day yeah. but you know the selfish part of me is like well not I wish they would just get I wish someone would get sick I don't wish that but when I think about like damn in your the case, anticipation the, yeah like the I don't want to wake up and and just oh well she had a heart attack and it's like well fuck you know it's like at least when somebody's sick you're you're you able to time. yeah you can talk to them as, but it's like you that's have so that, like, selfish time. that's so right and it's like that's so Ugh, selfish on my know. part because yeah. when I think about death Everything is always about me, 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 me. It's like, I can't ever talk to you again. I can't ever see you mm, again. I can't right. ever do that. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, it's not about you. It's not, it's not about you. It's about, it's, it's about, about that peace exactly. that they have and now, not feeling pain. Right. Mm. Absolutely. It's so like, pain. so I feel like my yeah. grandmother, I feel like dying that in was beautiful. That was a, sleep. an amazing see, thing. Absolutely. For you, it sucked. Yeah. But it's like at the end of the day. Yeah. So I have to like kind of tell myself that. But it made me accept quicker. Quicker. Because you were already not. Yeah, right. so you didn't have to you didn't have to you didn't have to deal with the preparing of it and you just it just happened and it was like, well, now I got to work through this. So but then you get to also remember is. the positive memories cuz now my very last memory is how you was look at them. Yep. That last right. conversation. Exactly. Absolutely. I had been gone. I talked to him 2 weeks later. Now you that's and I'm all like, mm-hmm. that's ah, why uh-huh. y'all are telling all these stories at the repast mm-hmm. and all these things. And I'm like, I asked him how yeah. I felt about dying. Yep. That like, was what like, do I have to contribute? Yeah. I felt so yeah. absent and lacking. Like I had nothing to give because that was the only memory that could mm-hmm. replace. Like my brain right. put a blockage yeah. on anything positive that could have happened. And everyone's laughing and at the point you're celebrating. And I'm yeah. like, right. They're like, Jasmine, do you want to talk? And I literally was like, respectfully, no. no. Yeah. Because I, I cannot even find yeah another memory besides the suffering because we spent the most time like right. you want to be right. together and well, then you're like that was kind of like my grandfather my grandfather lost his brother last um last year to cancer and i mean he was like his brother was like 
bad gone to the point where he couldn't even remember he couldn't speak like he was mm. so bad uh. and the family was gonna they, they knew he was gonna die within the next like 48 hours so family was going to see him and and they asked him if he wanted to see him and he was like no he was like I don't need to see him like my brother knows that I love him but the last thing I want is to see him like that I have great memories of him so why, do, why would I want to see him shriveled up in a bed like nah like it's, it's cool he knows that I love him that's what it is and 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 I also have grown to like I look at death I try and look at death without ego now mm -hmm. um I try and look at death as like this world like this this is hell like if you really want to think about it like yeah. this is not where we're supposed to be at all you know mm -hmm. so there's a reason why whether you're Christian or whatever, whatever it is, there's a reason why they say God is coming to get his people. He's coming to he's coming to save people. Mm -hmm. He's going to leave the motherfuckers that are going to be here to suffer. Exactly. Bitch. Like, you that. know what I'm saying? So there's a reason that those things are said, you know, whether you're spiritual or whether you're not like there's a regardless of what you believe in, like there's a higher purpose and power you for know so souls to go. and it's not for us to be on this shitty planet for forever like you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like i try and even though that's hard when you lose somebody close to you you can't just be like <clears throat> but it's a celebration what mm -hmm. if what if we're actually asleep right now and when we die that's when we, we wake up awake? yeah i know i absolutely yeah i absolutely believe Everyone in stuff life like that gets, um, well you know like it's said that life is like such a beautiful journey after like your yeah. life is the best i think life this is school like i truly think this is school like you know I, that's how crazy? i look at it like my mom because my uncle the, he's a twin but one of them my mom goes damn my brother's so nice he's not coming back anymore and i was like what do you mean that's it i feel like he's came back so many times he's a person that you oh. can mm. you been can reincarnated try. yeah like mm. you know how they say you come back as mm -hmm. someone different every time yeah. because you haven't learned your lesson mm -hmm. yeah. yes like, Yep. Yeah. So my yep. mom's like, "This is the death. Right. This, this is this your is punishment, death. bitch. Yeah, absolutely. No, <laughs> right. I agree. I and how you make your punishment work for you yep. is up to you. I completely but... agree. And my uncle, he is. He's just so something horrible. Like you can be at the worst point of your life, and he has been through some shit. And he's just like, well, mm -hmm. I'm here. What, what do you want me to? What do yeah. you want to get out of me? You want to get levels. anger? He's wow. just so like, and he's bit, he's good. He's good mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And it's like nothing can get away from his peace. Yep. Nothing in the that. way of his peace. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah. He like, has his that's purpose. how I want to be. Like, right. you don't, nothing he's unbothered. Gets in the way. And, exactly. And, and I look at that like, like graduation. My mom's yeah. like, I'm, he's the best. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be like that. Yeah. And I was like, damn, mom, you're right. Like, like nothing yeah. can shake him yep. now. And like, he just knows who he is. No crazy bills, no harassing. Like, okay. He's a cop, so there was this point where um, he was being assaulted, right? And some guy was literally trying to be his ass, so he was defending himself. And and he did all that, and obviously they went to court, and my uncle was like, let him go. Like, uh -huh. I got nothing. He was literally, like, almost going to stab him. He stabbed him, actually, and nothing. He just said, let him go. He was like, just let him. Oh, yeah. my ass. Sort of See? Take him out. Take oh, him out. Take him out. I'm going to come back. Yeah. I got another life. You got a couple more. You got a couple more. Life. Lesson, I know I got about yeah, six. I can grab no I lesson. Like, he's going to let you walk. Like, oh. you know, like, he's so unbothered about things. That's he's amazing. Like, you know what? Like, just yeah, go. that's that's truly how I feel. Culture. Like yeah. I feel like there's levels. There's levels to it. When you reach that certain level, yeah. then you'll Peace be released from this. He's just so at place. peace with everything, yeah. and I love that. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. I believe so. That's try, that's kind of how I try and look at it. Obviously, when it happens, that's not how you look at it. You know, at that's first, a sad moment. But that's yeah. I feel like that's how you get through it. You know, that level that's, of peace. Yeah, they're like okay. I think once when we're able to, I feel like everybody would be able to look at death differently if you're able to de detach from what she looks like or what he looks like yep. you know how the touch all yep. of that if you're able to detach from the physical because technically like in spiritual you know ideas like we're just in a vessel yep it's yeah. about Absolutely. our soul we're and just, it's about our yes. energy this is we can all care less about, about all of this because it's, it's gonna be gone gonna go away. yeah it's gonna go but, away. Earth. but your grandfather's spirit my grandmother's spirit that never goes anywhere never goes no. away it's we're actually close i feel like we're actually closer to the people that we lose from transition than we are with them physically Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. with their actual body feeling and, and touching and, and you know what i'm saying Absolutely. i feel that completely. so i was trying to tell that to um you know my friend or whatever and i was like damn 
damn, if we just look at it differently, but it's so hard. But it's, to, it's hard, hard to tell somebody that. How can you detach from a physical yeah, body you, that you can you actually feel yeah, that you know like, that is real? I'll never That's be able to, to like, yeah. I'll, it's like, it's literally like, okay, if I died today, like you would never be able to speak to me ever it again. It takes a certain That's type it. of like but, level of, of capacity yeah. and bra- braining. Oh, like I can't even, I don't even have capacity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have to be in a spiritual place to accept that. And you do mm-hmm. have to go through your processes because of course we've well, been here so long. Be sad, yeah, you, you have your grieving processes, but towards it. the end mm-hmm. of it, you have to understand, like you've been saying, it's not about you. It's, yeah. it's not your ego. Like force yourself to find that peace and knowing mm-hmm. that their soul and their body is okay. Mm-hmm. They are happy. Mm-hmm. Right. They're in a like, a much more positive place than Absolutely. what was going on here and whatever pain they may or may not have felt is literally non-existent. It's gone. They All are living so freely mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and they come to see you in any different way. Right. Whether, you yep. know what I mean? Like and I believe, saving you from a yeah. car accident or yep. you found your keys, you found your wallet. Like yep. you can choose to look at those things. And like, I believe, yeah, like, I believe you know in things, things like that. Things. I definitely believe yeah. in things like you that. You know like, when certain things happen. Like absolutely. that was you because ain't no other yes. way that this would have made sense yep. yes. because if, you knew that. So mm-hmm. thank you. Mm-hmm. And that's when they say, like, your angels are mm-hmm. with you. Yeah. They are. You're they are closer like closer because had he ever. been in Sacramento and I was here, been in the car accident. Right. But yeah. would, like, you know what I mean? Like, it exactly. sounds fucked up to say, but that's real. Yeah. Like, exactly. You get saved from those little things and you just kind of get that like, hmm. Well, and they're, okay. yeah, and you can, right. and I feel like you can have conversations with them. Like, yes. even when my, when my ex died, like, there's little things of, of, this was, remember we were in China. Do you remember when we landed in China? Changsha. and <laughs> Changsha, yeah, right. that whole thing. Yeah. And and when we landed in Changsha is when I got the text and I found out mm-hmm. that he got into a, a really bad car accident or whatever, and that's when it happened. And I remember, like, I went to his... I was actually kind of good. Like, not good, but I don't think I fully accepted it yet. It was just mm-hmm. kind of like... So then I went back home for the funeral, and that's when I lost it. Like, that's when I was, I was a hot-ass mess. But I remember afterwards we had like this song we had this song that was just our song and i remember sitting in the car and i was the radio was on first of all i don't listen to radio Period. don't listen to radio mm-hmm. but it was just on because i couldn't even think i was in the car i just sat there and then i just lost it i was just like let me just get these tears out let me just cry and cry and cry and cry and cry song came on see mm-hmm. and Telling i was that like it's okay and i just remember being like it made me cry even more but it was like happy tears now and i was like yo i'm good that's him yeah. saying it's okay yeah, like, like he, i'm right like, here with I'm you good. yeah it was just oh, that's crazy woo, it's shit like that, that it's gives just, you chills it's just crazy to me but, yeah and when you said when you said like when somebody passes away you're not able to talk to them like ever like i don't know they're um, almost more you, receptive you, they're more receptive and you can talk to them still because in your God. dreams oh my god one of it's there hard. was a I'm story like, that's a there was one. one of my friends had told me that you know his dad had passed away at like nine years old or something like that and he there was a point where he was home by himself and he remembers vividly that you know um he had looked like across the across the way from his house and he just saw a figure like it looked like a figure of a man right and he it was like the side profile like he he didn't he wasn't able to see him clearly but it was just like a shadow right yeah so then he had spoken oh he was freaking working he was working and somebody had came in and she was like she had a weird energy about her when every time that he was with her while she was che- while he was checking her out, she was like, "Hey, I have something to almost like how that girl had came up to us in, in, in Atlanta. Um, Atlanta, you yep. know what I mean? Like, yep. I just feel like there was a reason reason, reason mm-hmm. why that happened. Weird as fuck, but there was a reason. Yeah, right? of course. So, anyways, this girl who came into his store was like, "Can I just can I tell you something a little bit personal? Like, I know it may feel weird, but I just want to, I just want to let you know. I just want you. I want to prepare you for for what I'm about to say, but it's definitely, you know." Pretty much, she didn't say it this way, but it was one of her purposes to let him know what she was about to say. Right. And right. she said, she almost like read him really quick just to like let her know that she like was the real fucking deal. Mm-hmm. Um, she had like spit out facts about him. Ooh. At this point, you know, you had lost somebody. I think it was your dad from this age to this age. And it was like, okay, oh, you know, shit. like just spitting out the facts. So to, like let her like, know, okay, I, like or, she yeah, was she onto was, something. Yeah. So... After that, after he after he had like determined that she was the real deal, she said you were specifically you were this 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 age and you had you were home by yourself and you saw a shadow from across the house go from this from this place to this place. That was your dad telling you. Your no, your dad is your dad is telling me right now to let you know to not be afraid of that moment. 
Huh. That was him telling you to be okay. Wow. Oh shit. That he that he is okay. Something something along that nature. I'm like, <sighs> yo. That would have scared me. The, oh god. No, no, I have and some, no I one. Gotta has, go. I gotta go. Yeah. And no one would have. And no one would have ever known that moment because he said that he didn't tell anybody that's what I, that's so what that's says. how you freaking that is know insane. and it's like damn you're and then and then it makes me respect mediums who yeah. are able to tap in into to that, that spiritual Ooh, world because they're not dead they're not forgotten as long as you still have their memory yeah, so if you have their memory they're still insane. alive so you crazy. are able to still talk to your grandfather yeah. i still am able to talk to my That's, grandmother you're able to talk to your yeah. ex like you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying right. so it makes me feel better like death is not just the end all to be all right Absolutely it's just not. the fucking beginning and this now you just, just have to beginning. establish a yeah. new relationship with the mm-hmm. spirits and with your and with the energy Mm-hmm. so i'm like it's actually damn. a really beautiful thing when you can get past the when you the can get grief. past the sad shit yeah and, and the grieving process like it actually is really it's a very human once when thing. you can detach from the physical yeah and go from through your the process physical, though go mm-hmm. through your process yeah absolutely go through your grief, like, but know that it's the grieving yeah. but know that it's not the end yeah just mm-hmm. to, like as long as they went in a peaceful way and granted that doesn't happen for a lot of people because they end up being sick or they end up being in car accident mm-hmm. or whatever whatever happens so sudden like if you can just get over that part and just know that Ooh, like they really are in a mm-hmm. in a better place mm-hmm. then, absolutely you know it might feel better absolutely Whew. but yeah one. so i was just like damn death yeah no, for real you know are you and- scared of death personally see i'm not scared no. of death for myself really? yeah i think i'm not scared of death thing, for myself i, I don't know what only it is thing i just that don't want to suffer scared of, mm, i think the only thing that i literally can't come to terms with is two things is if wait for okay personally like are you scared to die yeah you get what I'm saying? So like I'm I'm scared of losing people. Like I'm scared of death in a sense of for my selfish reasons, but I'm not necessarily scared to die. Now, I'm scared of like things like, well, fuck, I don't want to burn to death or I don't want to drown. Like, you know, you know things no, like that. It, but no, I'm not scared to die. I'm if like, it's my if it's my time, I truly believe, like, right at this second, and even I believe this before, because Tally kind of like put me onto the statement, like when it's, it's my, my time, time it's to my go, time. It's time to go. Absolutely. Yeah. That's how I think. When that's it's my I, time, that's it is my time. Jazz like, no, it's not, bitch. Yeah. When See, it's so my time, it is my time. You're scared and... to die. Mm. <sighs> this is a lot. Why did we I do know. this today, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm it's not real. Death, yeah. When it's my time. I don't know what it is. When it's my time, yeah. it's my time. Give me like... the fucking tissue oh, box, bro. <laughs> Oh my what God. are you crying for now? You crying about yourself? No, she's, she's, scared. she's scared. Are you scared, bitch? She's scared, bro. I don't know. Let me cry. <laughs> no, she needed this. No. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a yeah. nice relief. It's and it's real when what you think fuck? about it. <laughs> it's good. Confused. Crying is I'm good. Confused. I'm confused. <laughs> I no, don't know I, where these tears are coming from. When bitch. it's my time, it's yeah. my motherfucking that's, that's time. That's how I think. Yeah. I, I, just, I, I just hope that it's... I just hope I'm a that little it's, scared. I said I got a little tear. <laughs> a little backlash. I just hope that um, however however it is that I go, it's Fast. just... It's nice Me and, too. Peaceful it's, it's just peaceful. It doesn't have to be fast. It's a slow... Whatever. I just, I just want to be, be I just worry about my soul. Like, I really like... Now that I'm getting more in touch with my soul, like... I think that's what I'm more protective over. Not the vessel, not this, not, not the body. Bitch, it's, your soul is so mm-hmm. powerful the, and so I'm radiant. Saying. It's the internal part. And I'm like, I just want my soul to be protected. That's what I think about. Not the... Hmm. Right. I mean, of course, I don't uh, want a motherfucking just burn. Like, yeah, no, right. You know, like, yeah. please, let it be cute. But Keep you know cute in these streets. How you I protect go. it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it cute with me, but, you know. No, like... it, well, I think it's I think it's meant for all of us. I think <laughs> I think it's meant for all of us to die to die and leave this world and move on to the next. Cause y'all, it, I promise you, I just feel like once when we once when it happens, it's not gonna be what it what yeah, I we agree. think it is. No, like I we're agree. not just gonna. No, I don't, it's not I agree. that. That's I why really it feel like we're me. about to awaken in like a. A fucking Wakanda. I'm gonna wake up and be like, oh uh, my god, yeah, right. I, that's what I think. Like, and then Shit, someone, you and then you're gonna approach, earlier. you're gonna approach your first spirit or something, yep. and be like, and they're gonna be like, you're dead. That's be like, really? Really? Oh well, that's the last. Yeah. Part. <laughs> that's how. No, that's how I. That's literally right. how I think. It doesn't Ooh. scare me. Yeah, it doesn't but scare me. That's a way to get you through. Like, if you are scared, you have to give yourself peace. Because what I read, yes, you was have to that, find, yes, give yourself yeah, peace. Yeah. If I read, if you're going, if you're scared or you're stressed out or about something that's not even happening yet. 
yet. Right. You know, you're living it twice. Yeah. You're living Ooh. it twice. So you're literally putting yourself through the stress. Through the stress. Through the stress. <laughs> through the stress. Yeah. When it hasn't even it happened, happened yet. yet. Yeah. So it's like, why would I want to stress myself out yep. when I can, I'm going to go through it eventually? Yep. Already, I'm going to be there. So it's like when you're stressing about certain things, remember. And it hasn't happened. Remember, yeah. it's going to happen regardless. Eventually. So yeah. why Find put your, your soul yep. through that when it's not there yet? That's how I you look at death I mean? for other people. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I get, you know, you have your different beliefs and shit. But at the end of the day, don't put yourself through something while you're living good. You know, be mm-hmm. happy at that moment. Mm-hmm. Be present. Because at the end of the day, there's absolutely nothing nothing you can can do do about it. Right. It's just making sure my soul is uh as pure and as best as it can be. So that way, when it is time, my soul can enjoy whatever it is. And that's why you do do. the work here. So Mm -hmm. I think I'm I should change my wording. I'm scared of dying prematurely to where Uh my soul cannot fulfill what it needs to do. So that way it can mm-hmm. enjoy whatever it needs to do at that time. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. I would hate for it to happen, like, you know. So that's right. why, so, and, and then you're not And you're that's not why whatever okay. it is that your soul needs at this present moment, do whether it be, do it, do it right, right now. Because right now. Right I can, ha- I literally can say this confidently. If I were to go tonight or tomorrow, mm-hmm. I think I would be okay with yeah. what I have done. Yeah. With myself. Yeah. And for my soul, mm-hmm. I think I would be okay. Yeah. Now That's the a only good thing, of peace. well, actually, I would rather go before. I would literally for Tally and I. I think mm, can't think about that, but I would. I am praying that, you that go I go before, before Tally. Ooh. Yeah. Please. That happened to my grandpa. Yeah. And then he rough. got depressed and he died right away. Well, yeah, usually yeah. usually older couples when one of them when one of them it's passes away, the other one passes yeah. away. But mm. but yeah, I that's I just want to go before that because I can't You don't want to be a widow. Think. That feeling Yeah, that is... fe- the feeling of being a yeah, I can't. Nope. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? No, I'm not. Yeah. It's it's the feeling of I got to go before Tally. That's no, no. it. I'll be happy. I'll be happy. happy. Right. He still live Okay, good. But then mm, right. you're gonna leave him stressed. I know. Then he's gonna. I know. And that's a self. That's coming from. No, I get go it. together. No, go, go, go together. together. Go come on, go, baby. Yes, I'm going too, baby. Okay. Oh shit. If I do it, you. If Hold on me, baby. Hold you on. do it. I'm gonna do it. Feel the energy. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Come right. On. Come with me. No. Come with me now. In no. all seriousness, oh, that my. and my mom. My Oof. mom. Oh. Mom, don't do that. I don't even want to talk. I was thinking about it, but I don't want to. My mom had cancer, so. Mm-hmm. She's alive. My grandfather. Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you, God. That was the worst time of my life. I was in third grade. Ooh. Oh wow. Um, but I think it's a miracle every day because she yes. got she got the treatment. She's mm-hmm. living. Good. You know, she, it wasn't her time yet. I yeah. was like, no, Mama, don't leave time. me because I wasn't. No, for real though. I'm. I w- I got along with my dad at the time because obviously the the next person that took care of me was my dad. So I stayed with him for two years, and that was weird because I was always with my mom since like little yeah. and i would go visit him in on the weekends but it wasn't the same as living with him for yeah. that whole Tire two time. to three years of my life and i was like damn this is not gonna happen I'm, and i would um mm. mm-hmm. yeah that's rough bro it's okay now stop fuck it's my period this is what it is <laughs> I gotta lift it, okay? We gotta lift this shit. Oh, shit. But I remember. <laughs> this is my baby. <laughs> this is fucked up. I know, it's so fucked up. Sorry, y'all. This shit gonna be fucking right hooks in this shit. Um, I remember every day I would tell my dad, I wanna go see mom. Mm-hmm. I wanna go see mom. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. That was the worst time. Mm-hmm. I was failing school. I didn't. I didn't care. Mm-hmm. I didn't care about nothing else. And um, finally the news came, and my uncle's like, "She's coming home," mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Damn!" Because I remember going to the hospital this year, and you know, you lose your hair in the treatment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. she didn't want me to see her like, like that. that. So yeah. I. And now I see why my dad didn't want me to go so often because she was probably like, don't mm-hmm. let her, you know, I don't wow. want her to see me because leukemia gets you tired. You look, yeah. you look so different. Yeah. And um, I finally got to see her when she was better in the treatment. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, and I was just so happy. And she's like, oh, my God, look how she's looking at me like. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was just so happy to see her. Finally, I got to see her more often. 
mm-hmm. and then I started seeing like high hopes, but I was it was a really bad time because I'm an only child first first yeah. of all. Yeah. So and then my cousins and all we're all going through some shit too. So I'm like. Like, what what now? Like, like yeah, that's my rock. I... Like yeah. literally to this day, still, I'm like that's my rock. Like this is too soon. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I probably would have passed away right after right. that bitch. Cause <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't, like, I can't. I can't fucking take it. I can't. I'm going to <laughs> mom. I'm going to 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 I'm swear that's literally what uh, happened but we yeah, look so bro. ugly with this right? shit is so like, booty no y'all mm-hmm. damn it's real though that shit is it real life though it, it is realer now. than anything but she's, she's good, good now, now. Got you, Mama. Praise, praise god, god. Mom. good praise god yes. oh, yeah. you are wow. a miracle yeah that's just rough. That's Ooh, we gotta say goodbye. Stop playing with me. I know. Has <laughs> it been an hour? I'm like, okay. Know, how do we conclude? How we co- conclude this? I'm on sorry. A, um, oh shit! I'm sweating too. Come on, therapy session. On a, okay. Uh, <laughs> on a on some high hopes and <gasps> something good. Just to look at things as the bigger picture. I don't even know what like, to say. That's that's really what it is. Is looking at things as the bigger picture. You know, like you have to shed. Not not saying that the bigger picture doesn't consist of crying and doesn't consist of grieving. That's just the human process. But you have to be able to work through those things, you know, regardless of regardless of whether you see them suffer or regardless of whether they die right away. Like death is not the I just feel like death is just not the end all be all, you know, and if you look at it like that, then it can be a very beautiful thing, you know, like it can be. I, I've literally talked to people who have been like, I'm like excited to get through life so I can get to that next chapter. Like, let me just be here and do what the fuck I got to do. Mm-hmm. Do whatever I've been sitting here to do so I can go. Like, mm-hmm. so I can get to this. Yeah, this is you have it. to look at it like an excitement thing. That yeah. Truthfully, like, let because me it's all a le- it's literally the pr- pretty much like the main unknown that Absolutely. nobody fucking knows, knows until, until it you happens. get there. Yeah. And that's a, so. that's kind of that's kind of cool like it when is. you really yeah when you when you look at it from a mature standpoint like yeah. that's that that shit is cool and you just you're you're here to do something you're here for a purpose so yeah. get that shit done and then that's head really on wild. out it yeah. really is a whole secret like can't nobody mm-hmm. come back and tell you mm-hmm. like, well hey, there's those people who have I died mean, and come back to life and write books but i don't know if i necessarily that happened to my dog bitch what? what? I your dog? Swear your dog died and came back? back? Yes. She told you about it. Yes. I told no. you about it. told you about it. No. Like, ar, ar. No. <laughs> right. Let me tell you. He was walking. He was already old. I knew he was going to die soon. So long story short, he passed out. My mom was like, oh my God, he died. Sammy, give him a kiss or something. Give him a kiss. And I was like, mom, he's, he's done. Like, that's it. I <laughs> gave him a kiss. And that bitch said, he got right back. He had peed on himself. and Like, you know, when somebody dies, when they you, pee on yourself, right? And his legs were all out <gasps> and everything. And I said, okay, I gave him a kiss. I swear. I said. <laughs> I swear. He was all out. All out. I'm crying <laughs> again. What the fuck? What the fuck? I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sad, but I'm happy. Cause it was a cute <laughs> way. coming too. Cause it was a cute oh, way. No, oh, was, no, no, no. no he right. didn't. He wasn't ugly. He didn't. It didn't look ugly. But the way I'm saying it, it doesn't help, sound funny. It didn't help. But <laughs> bitch, I gave him a kiss on the forehead, bitch, and that bitch came back. I think I'll be irritated if I came back. No, no. If you mean to tell me, go. You sure? No, it no, was, no. Right. Yeah, he found coma, like, yeah. like a coma situation. <laughs> you know why? It. I knew he uh was he died the next day, but oh. he died in his Wait sleep. A- he died in his sleep. <laughs> Samantha, I'm so sorry. I don't know how Girl, to process my emotions. La- I know it's uh, it's ridiculous. I don't know what emotions gonna come to me. I know it's okay. <laughs> It sounds crazy. He died, then you gave him a kiss. He, he came Snow White is. He back Snow and then died again. Snow White is. And came back. <laughs> but then the next day he and died. No, yeah, but we put him. I feel like I knew. But he came back for the rest of the, the day. Hmm. Well, now that I can. He fell asleep and he that's passed away in his sleep. So uh, that made me oh, happy because I didn't thing. like yeah. how he passed away. Wait, the first like, time, right? You gotta come <laughs> redo, 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 redo
can't do. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's not how we, we gonna do this. We motherfucking do. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I cleaned right. them up. I cleaned them up. And he was, he's a little shit too. So he he looked cute till death, Aww. bitch. He looked cute till death. He, he didn't get ugly as shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get ugly. He didn't get ugly. Cause oh ugly my God. Like that. That's hilarious. But he was just little viejito. Little old Aww. guy. And then finally he had little, his little round bed and that's it. He just stopped and. I was like, okay, finally, you went peacefully. Peacefully. Because that first time. No, I know. I was like, this was a rough This was a rough Wait, let me right. get a kid. Let me, right. Let me make, hold let me on. Get a kid. You, let know me get a kid. you know better than that. Mm. Oh, my oh, God. God. That was, oh my that was like crazy. I was like, mom, what the fuck, fuck just was happened? That? What'd right. you do? Some brewery ass. Brewery ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> I but. think to end this off, mm. damn, y'all. Uh, well, mm. I appreciate all of the emotion and all of the stories. And I think they do, too, because... I, this is I feel like this is like the realest thing we've ever talked about. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'm it's really hard. happy that we can embrace it and talk about it and be open to it. Like that's just that's just, you know, something that I feel like that this is the shit that should be shared. Absolutely. And should be seen and um and for y'all to think about who's watching and mm-hmm. who's listening. Um, I think what I've learned is just to let the natural process Happen. Whether it be your period, bitch, don't right. try to stop that shit. Whether it be, you know, transitioning into the next world, <clears throat> it should just let it go to surrender to yeah. whatever is supposed to happen for mm-hmm. you. Absolutely. Like literally your path. I'm learning that statement every single day. Like your path Same. is your path. Mm-hmm. Your journey is your journey. And it's different and mm-hmm. beautiful in all different mm-hmm. ways. And, and learn just to be gotta, excited about that. And, 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 yeah. and be excited and welcome it and let it work for you. Because the minute you start to control things, a minute yep. something mm-hmm. is going this one way, but then you try to take it to- back to the next. Yep. That's when things it start to get up. messed up. Yep. You kind of just have to let it go. Even if it, even if it hurts like period cramps even if it hurts like you know watching a grandparent go yeah you have to let the process be <clears throat> the process and you have to let it happen naturally i feel like that's the only way things will really push on the way that it's supposed to absolutely you know um so absolutely. with that being said if you guys have anybody that yeah. is in the process or um just you know transitioned it, yeah or just transitioned um grieve and cry like how we did Mm -hmm. today let your natural process go on but even if they haven't transitioned yet i really i really want you guys to take jasmine's story to heart and really ask about really ask them what Mm. it is that they're feeling and what it is that they need in that moment in time yeah and to not to not act on Make it what your you. feelings Make are about, and what mm-hmm. and what you need for yourself yeah. to feel better about Absolutely. this. What it is is for them to feel the best that they can in this hard moment. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? In the last few times. In the, yeah. Yes, in yeah. the last times Absolutely. here in this physical world. So um, with that being said, the queens love you. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. We'll be back with a brighter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. brighter conversation next time. Sis's birthday is coming up, y'all. April 23rd, Woo! bitch. Big next 23. Week, we gonna be in Mexico. Okay. We gonna be in April Mexico. April 23. So be sure to give my girl all of the fucking love. <laughs> April 23rd. Yeah. Um, make sure to follow us, support all of our brands and our and, and our businesses, because we're we're doing it for you to keep the world light with all this Absolutely. shittiness that's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Definitely. so um Absolutely. I love you guys all. Thank you guys so much for opening your hearts yeah. today. And we'll see you next time on the next episode of After Class Queens Podcast.